What's up guys? Nerdy Noop here. Welcome to yet another unboxing video. I have a special edition unboxing video for you today. This is a box that I got online on sale. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016, I've noted this called, San Diego Comic-Con 2016 Exclusive Gallery of Heroes Crate. This is a loot crate box. I think they partnered with, whoa, I think they partnered with Games Radar. Anyways, this was a special edition box that came out around the time that the San Diego Comic Con was happening. I did not get it because I told myself, stop doing that. Stop getting those Comic Con boxes. They're not worth it. Uh, I still feel the same way, but Loot Crate, which now has a store called Loot Vault where they sell old items from either boxes or like just certain items, they had this on that website. And they were having a sale. I don't know what the sale was. They just sent me an email and it was like, use this coupon and get like, you know, 20% off or something like that. So this box normally costs $65 with my coupon. Again, I don't know actually what the coupon, the coupon was worth $16.25, but I don't know what that equals out to when it's like percentage wise. So this box costs $40.75. So it dropped the box down a little bit more than $15. I did have to pay sales tax because Loot Crate is housed in California. So that cost me $3.66. So in general, in total, this box cost me $52.41. If you don't live in California, it would have cost you $48.75. I think they still have this box on sale on their website, but Again, I wouldn't pay $65 for it, so just make sure you get it on sale. Go find a coupon or do something. All right, guys, uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll put all those pricing details I just told you about in the description below. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. I didn't hear good things about this box. You guys were like, that box was lame. But I don't even know what's in this box, and I figured, why not? Why not just try, right? Oh, you know what? I think I might have watched an unboxing video for this. Well, kind of. The first item we have is a Q-Fig figure. Luckily, I don't think most people keep Q-Figs in their box because this box is dented. This is of Aquaman. I don't mind Q-Fig figures. I like the way they look. I just wouldn't say that they're, I don't know. I'm not sure. They're not my favorite, but I don't mind them. That's what the cartoon thing looks like. So we got Aquaman, very nice. The next one we got is a Kubros. I think this might have been one of the reasons I bought this box is because of the Kubros. I really like Kubros. They're kind of expensive, but I really like them. You guys have seen them on my channel uh, when they first came out. We got Hellboy. I don't know if you could have gotten different ones. And this is from the second series that they have. The first series had like Spock and uh, the dude from I think it was Connor from, um, I can't even think of it now. But this one has the minions. I think I saw a picture and thought that we might potentially get minions, so I got excited. But that's okay. So we got Hellboy. The next item we have is a pennant. Oh, so the one thing I'll say about this pennant is I love the way they packaged it. Because you guys know that pennants, if this is the type of, actually this looks like a softer pennant. Let's open it and see first. Because sometimes like pennants are that weird, that weird felt material. And if it's really thick and you bend it, it creases and then it looks really ugly. I don't know if this one is the same material. Let's see. It's stuck in here. It's kind of, it actually is. So I do appreciate the packing job that they did so that this thing doesn't get super creased. So this is a pennant of Hot Girl. And then there's little tags here that you can uh, use to, I guess, uh, like tie it to something. Um, there's a bunch of different ones that you could have received. You could have received Wonder Woman, Har well, I don't know if you could have received in this box, but there's a bunch in the series. Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Supergirl, and then Hawk Girl. There you go. But I really do appreciate the way they ship that a lot. All right, the next item we got is a hat. It's like a leather hat. This is of Nightwing, I believe. It looks like Nightwing. Yes. So, oh, sorry. So there's the hat. Nightwing is from Batman. Um, it's a Bioworld product. It's like a leather hat. So it's a really nice quality hat. I've never in my life worn a leather hat like this, like a, like a leather snapback, but I'm sure people do wear them, um, but yeah, good quality hat. I just, I'm not a huge fan of hats, but you know what? Since I have my hair down, I could wear my hat. I have a really big head. I think I need to make this bigger. It totally matches my shirt, right? Okay, so I don't know how you wear it. Usually I have to wear my hats backwards. Uh, the next item we have is a pin. 
This is their SDCC 2016 Loot Crate pin. So it just has SDCC 2016 and then a Loot Crate box on it that has, oh, uh, it dressed up as Superman, I think. All right. Before we do the shirt, we have a towel. Why do they? Oh, is this, this is old school Avengers. Sorry, it's hard to hold. This towel's really big. Okay, so there's one side of the towel. I hope you're in the shot. There's the other side of the towel. And then there's the last side of the towel. What do we see? Let's look at this. So this is old school Avengers. I actually really like this towel, except for one fact. They are missing somebody. I don't know if Hawkeye was technically an old school Avenger, but... I love when they have him in like comic book form and he's purple. Love it. But this is an Avengers Marvel Marvel Avengers towel, so that's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Probably one of the best towels I've ever received. The last one we have is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Why? Uh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive shirt. It's black. It's medium. Men's medium. Hey, why would we have a Buffy the Vampire? What the heck? Uh, I didn't watch Buffy, so I don't really, like, I don't know. But why would we have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this box? This is a, this is a box of heroes. Is this a hero? I've never seen this show, so I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure there's no superheroes in it. This totally does not fit the theme of all of the other items. It's like the lone wolf. That's so weird. So let's go ahead and do a recap and pricing, shall we? The first item that we had is our Buffy shirt. That's gonna get $10, it's so weird. The towel, the Avengers towel, I'll go ahead and give that, it's not the best quality towel, but that you probably could give $10 as well. Maybe eight, so I might be pricing high. The pin will give $3. The Kubros, I'm gonna give this $8. I think they're even more expensive than that, but I'm gonna give them eight because I don't remember exact the exact pricing, but they're, they might even be 10 to 15. I think they were pretty expensive. I've, I've never purchased them at the store because they were too expensive. The pennant, I would probably give $5. I appreciate the packing that they did. And then the Q-Fig, you could give this Q-Fig. Uh, I'd probably say maybe like 15. I don't think this is an exclusive to this box. Oh, it's an exclusive to the Comic-Con box. I think regular price you could give this 15 and then maybe add a couple dollars because it's a Comic-Con exclusive. So I would say maybe like $17. That might be overpricing it. I kind of want to look. Wow, there's only two on eBay and they're going for $60 to $84. That's super expensive. I'm going to give this $20 to be really nice. But just don't, if you want this, do not go on eBay. Just buy it from the Loot Crate site. Don't get ripped off. Okay, this hat, this hat's really nice. I usually give hats $10, but since this is all leather and it's a BioWorld product, which we usually don't get like licensed hats, I would probably say that we could give this hat $15. You might even be able to give it $20. All right, according to my pricing, this box cost $71. Now, the original price of the box is $65. So, in that situation, we got $6 extra value on top of what we paid for it. Now, you probably could have given the Kubros two more dollars, the hat potentially at 20, so five more dollars, plus two, plus five. And then the Q-Fig, if you want to be really nice, you could potentially give it I think 30 is overpriced. You can give it 25, so that's another five. So if you did that and you priced it like more widespread than I do, that would be $18 extra value on top of what you paid for it. Um, I'm gonna stick with my regular $71 price point, but remember that I paid $52 for this box. So this box got $19 extra value on top of what I paid for it, which is good. I want at least, for like a $50 box, I'd want at least, um, I say 15 because a $30 box I want 10, a $20 box I want 5, so you add that together and it's 15. So I hit that value for me. I would not have been happy if I would have paid $65 for this box. I would have been upset. It's decent items, but I think for these like Comic Con crates, I would expect more value. But yeah, I mean, I like the items. I actually like these items. And since I got it cheaper, I'm okay with the price point. My favorite item is the towel. 
that's for sure my favorite item in this box. And then I actually like the Kubros. Let me just look at this card really quick. So we had the Night When You Snap Back, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer tee, which I think that's so out of place in this box. I don't even know why we got that in this box. Maybe I'm not understanding a connection. We had our Marvel Comics beach towel. I thought they could put Hawkeye on there. We had our Aquaman figure, which was cool. Um, everyone got Hellboy from Series 2 of Kubros. And then we had our Bombshells Hawk Girl pennant. So everyone got Hawk Girl. And then we had our pin. So, yeah, um, good items, good quality items. Again, I would have been unhappy if I paid $65, but since I only paid $50, it is definitely, like, decent for me. If I had to rate it, I probably would give this box, at a $65 price point, I would give this box a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. I don't understand the shirt, and I think that it could have gotten more value for the $65 price point. For my price point that I paid $52 because I got it on sale, I'd probably give this box a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I still don't understand the shirt, and maybe it could be a 4.5. I'm just not, I'm not like overjoyed by all of the items. They're cool. So for me, it's not a 5, but if you got it on sale and you liked all these items, you could probably give it a 5. I'm going to say a 4.25, 4.5. Probably, probably 4.25. That's what my mind's telling me. So I'm going to go with that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Did anyone get it on sale? And if you still want it, check out the Loot Vault website. They might still have it. I'm not sure. But make sure you get a coupon code so that you don't get ripped off. I heard a lot of people unhappy about this box, but again, I would have been unhappy with it if I would have paid $65 for it, so I totally understand. What items were your favorite? And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscription are blocked to such a private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I still don't have because I just was really busy. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'll work on them soon and they will be in future videos, so be on the lookout for that. And guys, uh, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world today, especially if you live in America. Um, right now it's, uh, what day is it? Thursday. So election day was on Tuesday. There's, there's been a lot of a lot of stuff going on and, um, you know, I don't really talk about politics on here and I don't, I'm not going to talk about politics. I just want everyone to know that everything's going to be okay. We're going to make it through this. So everyone just relax. I know everyone's like, I, there's so much hate going on online. I hate it so much. And I'm probably part of the reason that that's happening too. So I apologize. You know, I live in California. The person who I voted for did not win, but that's okay. Who knows? Maybe our president elect will be the greatest president that we've ever had. No one really knows because nothing's happened yet. So let's just wait and see and we'll talk about it in a couple of years. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for all of your support. I did take yesterday off and I appreciate that you guys don't hate me for it. But yeah, we're back at it again and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you smile at somebody, give them a high five and uh, just remember that hate brings us nowhere. So, you know, let's just keep on keeping on. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.